Hey Cisco, it's Big Pop here. Today I'm going to walk you through upgrading your master nodes to Cisco and Lux using the master node script, also installing the new wallets and discussing seniority. Um, with any sort of upgrade, you should always back up your wallet dev files. So you can do that by heading to the Cisco and Core folder, uh, then to your wallets and wallet dat. So just copy that and put it in a safe place for now. Best practice in crypto as well is when you're wanting to download a new wallet, always head to the GitHub repo. So for Syscoin, it's forward slash Syscoin, forward slash Syscoin, forward slash releases, which will bring you to the latest release, which is Syscoin 4.20. Depending on your operating system, download what you need. So whether it's for Mac, the OS X, uh, for Windows, uh, your setup file, or just your standard zip file, or for Linux. Okay, so once you've downloaded the wallet, install it. This will install on top of the existing Syscoin core folder. Open it up and let it sync. For the purpose of this demo, this will be done on testnet, um, but it will be pretty much all the same for mainnet. All right, that's all synced now, so let's get into it. Uh, Syscoin Lux Masternode script. Guides will be linked below and also in our socials. Uh, so below the minimum requirements, pretty much the same as 4.0, uh, Ubuntu 20.04 is now compatible, so we do say to install on that. Uh, make sure it's a fresh VPS uh, install, so blow up your old ones, and make sure you are installing with the at least the minimum requirements here, otherwise it will not work. Uh, here's a list of VPS providers. Uh, most of you know which ones you use, or oh, if you use a hosting provider like Allnodes or Pecunia. Uh, here's a couple of websites that do help. Uh, SysHub should be launched soon after 4.2. Uh, Cisco and Discord, if you've got any issues, just jump into Discord, open up a ticket, and we can help you there. And sysnode.info pretty much will be merged in with SysHub, but for now you can use that site as well. So let's just jump straight into it. Um, all right, so let's just talk about seniority at first. Um, so seniority is based on the transaction height only. Anything else you do, whether you're changing IP addresses, changing servers, updating registry, anything like that, it does not affect seniority. All that affects seniority is this transaction. Um, so if you move that 100,000 transaction, then you will lose your seniority. So Firstly, you just want to make sure that this is locked. So go ahead to send inputs under the coin control features and find your 100k transaction and just make sure that is locked. So locked unspent and you'll see the little lock there. Next, we want to go get the master node outputs for that. So head to Windows Console and type in master node underscore outputs and that will spit out your trans transaction ID and your collateral index. Next, we also want to create a BLS pair, so BLS generate, and that'll spit out your secret and public key. All right, so let's get into it. So we've just generated our B BLS key pairs. Uh, gives you some information there what it is about. But now we'll jump into our VPS and get that sorted now. So basically the command is here. So if you're on Mac, just SSH into your terminal. Or if you're Windows like I am at the moment, just jump into PuTTY and log in as root. So first we want to copy that. Paste that in. And it'll bring up this. Just press enter and so syscoin github tag so master just press enter external ip enter master node point eight three six nine is correct and master node bls key so this is where you bring in your bls key they want the secret number here so just copy that paste that in pretty much same as the gen key as last time press enter configure to mainnet here you'll press yes so just press enter because I'm doing it on testnet, I'm just going to press N. That'll install, and it's 
fairly quick this time so it shouldn't take more than five minutes to install so once that installs we'll uh, get back all right that's all completed now so first you just want to copy that or you can type that in um, this is just to run a couple of the commands and once that's done we can head back on to the guide and just to check up on your status you can do the syscall master node sync and just to double check once that's all synced um, your VPS is all good alright so the VPS is down now let's just head back to our guide and prepare the ProBridge transaction so here you'll need the owner key address uh, the voting key payout and fee source voting key and owner key they can be the same address so you only have to create either one of these um, that they're, they're per node so if you once you've created this you can only use this for one node you can't use this for any other node um, so if you've got 10 you need to create 10 addresses if you want to go down the line of creating address for both you'll need 10 addresses here 10 addresses there if you've got 10 master nodes the payout address is where your master node payouts go to and the fee source address this is optional so if you don't want to create this you'll just need to fund the payout address here if you create this you'll just need to fund the address that you do create here all right so let's head now to console and we'll get this started so jump into console create the master node key address or the owner key address uh, you can copy that and just chuck that into your notepad voting key address we'll just use the same one payout address put that in there and copy that there so now we're just gonna have to fund the payout address just so the um, when we do the transaction soon it has a place to grab the funds from so we'll just send that there we'll just send tenses from send so we just got to make sure that confirms before we do the next transaction so if you do have your wallet um, locked you'll just need to unlock it so in the console again wallet passphrase password here and then 300 if you got any special characters just put it in between quotes uh, 300 will unlock it for five minutes you can put 600 for 10 minutes donate to syscoin foundation so there's a new thing called the operator reward argument so you can do a percentage of your rewards to another address so basically if you're going to pay someone to run your master nodes you, you might want to give them a percentage of your rewards or if you've got a friend and say you're 50 50 in the 100k maybe you can do 50 percent to their address 50 percent to your address um, what we're asking is to help support the syscoin team and foundation um, possibly donating in five to ten percent to us. Uh, this will help, you know, create a solid network and con the continued development of Syscoin, where it helps. And uh, in advance, if you do do this, uh, thank you very much for your continued support. So now we'll get into the registering this and we'll use the uh, syshub master of registration tool here to make it easier you can use notepad so it'll just be a lot of copy and pasting but we'll jump into that now so if we head over to the master node registration help bar we'll bring up our little notepad here uh, so first is the collateral hash so this was grabbed from when we did the master node output so the collateral hash plus the uh, collateral index should we go ahead and paste that in there wrong one Uh, and then we'll put the index which was zero so zero and the IP address so whatever the IP address was of your master node VPS the owner address so that's the owner key address uh, operator public key so that's the secret key that was attached to your master node this one is the public key uh, voting address we're just using the same as the owner address operator reward so that was the percentage you want to donate so for the syscom foundation i'm going to donate 10 percent uh payout address so this was the address we just funded um 
and this is where your rewards will be sent to. Vsauce suggests it's optional, but we're not using it. So click next, command was created. So then you'll come down to here and it'll spit out an output here. So just copy that. And then we'll just head back to console and paste that. All right, so now we'll just head back to console. So back to the Cisco and QD console, go ahead and paste that in and press enter. And then it'll spit out this output here. All right, so we can use this now for the next section. So if you want to just scroll down, collateral address. So we'll just go back into here and just find the collateral address here. Copy that. Paste that in there, sign message. So without the quotes as well, guys. So just that there, copy all that, paste that, next. And this will create the new command to paste into QD. So this one here, so you just copy that, head back to console, paste that in, prints. It'll put out another output here. So you want to go ahead and copy that one. And we'll go ahead and paste that in here. And then the transaction, so that's from the last output. So we get back in here. So this is the transaction here. Looks big. Paste that in there. Submit. Command was created. And this is their last command here. So this will submit it. This is the one that's going to uh, register your mouse node to the network. Copy that. Head back to here. Paste. Enter. Boom. So that's your transaction ID there. Best to always keep that, a copy of that as well. All right, so now we can just double check that our master node is all good. So we can just go to that away, get out of that. Uh, head to the master nodes tab. Uh, I can click my master nodes only, and then you'll see it here. Enabled, POS score, registered, uh, last paid, next payment, payout address, operator ward, 10% um, but not claim. So we'll go into that and how to register that bit, uh, collateral address, owner address, voting key address. Uh, if we go back to the guide, so basically we've just run through all this bit here in creating the ProReg transaction, signing it, and submitting the signed message. So you'll just see now, master node is now registered with, and will appear in the detrimentistic master node list after the transaction is mined to a block. So that's when we the output here when that goes through the uh, Cisco and chain. So usually in one minute or so it should be done. And then you can go view it in the master node tab. Uh, you can also go to the, back to your VPS. And then we can go ahead and write in Cisco master node status, I think it is. And then you'll, it'll bring up all this here and then just it'll show you that it's ready now and give you all the details here as well of about your master node. So basically that's your master node all set up now. Um, if you need to do another master node, so you'll just have to go through that and do the whole steps on a, a brand new VPS. Uh, so if all master nodes need their own IP addresses, so one master node per VPS, go through all this again, making sure when you are doing the ProReg transaction, if you're doing another master node, these two need to be a different address again. Uh, payouts, you can use the same address. For those of you that did the donate to Cisco and Foundation, or if you're using the operator reward for another um, argument, um, we'll go through that now on how to register that. It's just an extra step to put in the um, address. All right, so we'll just scroll down until we come to the specifying donation address. So this is if you have um, 
put in a value greater than zero for the operator reward. Um, this is a Syscoin address here, the foundation address. If you have or want to donate to the Syscoin address, and this is the command we're going to run through console. All right, so the um, we'll go through this now. So pr transaction hash. So that was the hash that we'll just once we submitted that IP and port. See so IP, the VPS IP, and the port eight three six nine. Operator key. So this is your private BLS key that was generated and we used in the pro transaction as well. Operator payout address. So this will be the um, address using for the uh, donation. So for Syscon Foundation, it will be the Sys one here that you put in. Fee source address as well. We'll use this this time as um, what's it called. If we don't use this, then this address here will need a um, to be funded. Right, so let's just go ahead to Qt, open that back up in console. Move this a little bit down. <coughs> All right, so we want to do the pro transaction service update. So pro transaction underscore update service, and we're going to grab the pro transaction hash. So open up your Notepad and grab the transaction ID space. Put that in IP and imp and your port. So space. Get your IP address. Semicolon and then eight three six nine. Uh, I'm using test nets, so I'll put in one. But just make sure you guys are putting in eight three six nine. Operator key. So that's your BLS key. Your secret. Copy that paste that in and then operator payout address so this is the syscoin foundation address here or if you've got another address that you want to use that's where you put this in um for this i'm using testnet so i've just made a quick one here so you put that in space and then the fee source address so this is where it's going to take the funds for the transaction so just use your payout address press that and then enter It'll spit out a transaction ID there, and everything is done. So basically, that is your master node now set up. Um, you can head back to get rid of that. Your master nodes tab. You can see that it's enabled. Um, it'll tell you when your next payments are now. So this block right here will tell you when you will get paid. The last paid will tell you when uh, you were last paid and it will give you an update here, collateral address, owner address, voting key, operator re reward, so that's 10% there to the donation address, the uh, Syscoin Foundation, and you can see when we go into our transaction history, you can see that payout 44 and foundation to 4.93, so about, around 10% is going to the foundation address. So that's everything for today, guys. Uh, if you got any issues, head to Discord, uh, open up a, a ticket, and we can help you out if you come across any issues whilst installing. Good luck, and welcome to Syscoin Lux.